please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Modern day navigation is available at your fingertips and accurate to a few meters. Furthermore, it includes street views and 3D rendering of buildings and cities just about anywhere on the planet. And that's great when you're navigating around cities with 5G and 4G data networks, but what about off-road navigation in remote areas within African countries where often there is no signal? Typically, overlanders and off-roaders would use a standard GPS with an intended route pre-planned and loaded into the device. GPS devices can be very costly, however, and having to use the device's route creation software like Garmin Basecamp and MapSource can be a time-consuming and sometimes frustrating exercise. What if there was a solution to plan a trip on an easy-to-use web-based trip planner and have the route data sync with an app on your mobile phone, which you could then have mounted in your vehicle and simply follow the route you have created? Welcome to the new Tracks for Africa Trip Planner, a web-based overlanding route planner that can sync with an already fully functional Android guide app from Tracks for Africa. We now have a beta version of the new trip planner running on its own routable map data for Africa. Like all Tracks for Africa maps and data, it's being updated continuously and released to the Tracks for Africa customers. The essence of the online trip planner is to allow users to plan their trips and routes, then sync the data with a Tracks for Africa guide app and have it available offline on their mobile devices for use anywhere on the African continent. No need for cell phone reception. Trips that have been created on the Trex Africa Trip Planner can be synced with the guide app instantaneously. All route data is available offline once it's downloaded and synced with your mobile or tablet, whichever device is running Trex Africa guide app. We now have created our own routing algorithm to work specifically with our map data. This algorithm will be expanded and updated on an ongoing basis to suit the needs of overland travelers in Africa. So what can the trip planner do as it currently stands in its beta version? The beta version is available as an online map that allows users to interact with Tracks for Africa data and create trips. These trips contain routes and points of interest like lodging and fuel for example. The current version is not yet mobile friendly and needs an internet connection and a PC or laptop to create the trips. So what does it cost to use the new Tracks for Africa Trip Planner? Currently, the beta version is free to use. The Trip Planner will eventually form part of an annual digital subscription service with Tracks for Africa. Let's take a look at an overview of the Trip Planner. Go to the main tracksforafrica.co.za website and click on the Trip Planning button. You will then be asked to log in. If you have a current Tracks for Africa subscription, you can use the same login details or you can register a new account. Once logged in, navigate to the top left where you can view your trips or create a new one. The map legend on the top left will reference the road's descriptions, the activities icons, and the facilities icons. On the top right is a drop-down menu where you can select the services and amenities you want to display on the map, like lodging and fuel. If you zoom in or click on the icon, it will display its name, and you will be able to add this to either your favorites or add it directly to your trip. Items in your favorites folder can be added to the trip at any time. Just select the item and select the trip you wish to add it to. The text search on the top right is filtered by selecting an icon from the drop down menu. Let's select fuel and search for a location. It displays two fuel options in Barrydale. Select the desired location and add it to your trip. The Map Layers menu on the bottom right is set to default as Tracks for Africa maps. You can choose Hybrid, Satellite, Outdoor, which will show terrain, or you can select Mapbox Street Maps, but let's stick with the Tracks for Africa maps. 
The beta button on the lower right hand side is to send us feedback regarding software improvements. You can share your trip by using the share icon. You can copy the link or you can export the trip either as a GPX file or a KML file. Once you export it, it will appear in your downloads folder. You can choose your routing preference based on the quickest time by selecting the tiny rabbit icon or based on the shortest distance using the tortoise icon. The route summary icon displays important route information including time, the distance and ratio of paved versus unpaved roads. To zoom the map in and out, you can use the plus or minus keys on the lower right hand side or you can zoom using your mouse and selecting a point to zoom into. Let's take a look at how to create your first trip. You'll need to be logged in to create trips and export the route data or sync it with the Tracks for Africa guide app. Once you're logged in, select the My Trips menu on the top left hand side. Then select Create New Trip. Give the trip a name, let's call it Two Day Overberg and then click the Save icon. Trips are made up of routes and POIs, points of interest. If you already have an idea of points of interest you'd like to include, such as accommodation, fuel and interesting locations, you can search for them using the drop down icon menu on the right hand side or in combination with the text search bar. Before you've created a route, you will only be able to save the POIs to your favourites or to the trip you are creating. You can add all your POIs to the route later once it's active, but it's imperative that you add them in the order you intend to drive, as the routing algorithm will start from the first POI you add to the route. Let's create a route and call it Day 1. You can change the color of the route by clicking the eyedropper icon and selecting the desired color. You can create a multi-day route as one long route, but it's easier to manage the route in a day-by-day -day format, from guest house to guest house or from campsite to campsite. The first POI you add will be the starting point of the route. If there is a specific road or point you wish to travel to, you can click and hold the mouse on the point for 2 seconds and it will drop a marker. Be sure to be zoomed in to maximum level to ensure the marker is accurately placed on the desired tar or gravel road. Once you add the third point, you will be asked if the point should be before or after your last point. Once you add it, then click the recalculate button and the trip planner will calculate the additional new section. If you need to add a marker or point of interest before your last point, when prompted to add it, select before, then click add. Now click recalculate again to update the routing. You can sort the route markers by using the arrows to change their position. We suggest you only do this one click at a time or it can get messy if you lose track of the order of your points on the route. You can also change the individual points position by dragging it to the desired place. The trip planner will then automatically recalculate the route. Let's add the lunch location in Hermanus. The cattle baron was added previously. We can now add it to the route. If you want to travel on a specific gravel road, zoom in to the gravel road and click and hold the mouse until the red road marker appears. Then add it to the route. Select the POR category as road marker. If the routing algorithm does not take the exact turn, delete it from the route, then redo the marker closest to the nearest junction. 
then re-add it to the root. Let's add another road marker to ensure the routing stays on the gravel roads we wish to travel on. The end of the route will most likely be your overnight stay location. Use the icons on the drop down menu on the right to search for accommodation. Select the accommodation and add it to the route. Once the route for that day is complete, you can zoom around and inspect it for any errors or routing differences. Again, you can click on the route information icon and view the route data in detail. The route can now be exported as a GPX or KML file. Once downloaded, it will appear in your downloads folder. If you wish to share a route, click the share icon and copy the link to your clipboard. If you intend to plan very long trips, it's better to break up the route into days or sections as it keeps the amount of data to be synced with your guide app, exported or loaded onto your Garmin GPS to workable sizes. So let's summarize the process. Log into the trip planner, create a new trip, then create a route, name it day one, then add your points into the route, then day two the same, and so on until all days are created. Check your route in detail, then either export it as a GPX file or a KML, or sync it with your Tracks for Africa guide app. If you are a user of the Android Tracks for Africa guide app, you can now synchronize the route with the app. From the menu bar on the top right, select My Trips. Then click Read Trips from Trip Planner. The new trips will be displayed. Click the small download cloud on the right hand side to sync the new trips with the device. Now select the two-day Overberg route we've just created and click the grey tick to activate the route. If you click on More, the route data will be displayed. You can close the menu down now and return to the map to view the route. When it comes to navigating these routes on the guide app, either on your mobile phone or tablet, make sure your location is switched on. You will see your position moving along the route. It's important to note that it does not navigate like a standard GPS, but rather shows you where you are in relation to the route. You do not need a cell phone signal to navigate using this method.